Okay, Kai, I'm going to give you another perspective. This time you're going to see me loading the arrows, drawing, and releasing the release. Rather than using fingers to pull the string back, you use a mechanical release. It's a pair of jawed or sprung, spring loaded jaws, and it has a trigger, just like on a rifle or on a handgun. And you touch it, and it opens up. It's very light. I don't know if you can see that. Very light. It takes a little bit of pressure, and it opens right on up. All right. That one, that last one went high. Last one went high, it's in the lungs. Uh, the first two are side to side, right next to each other. Let's go down range and we'll check it out. Okay, so we got two side by side. Let me come to the other side here. There we go. All right, so two arrows side by side, just creasing the back lobe of the lung, forward lobe of the of the uh, liver. These are excellent shots. And then we got one that's a flyer. That was my last shot high into the lungs. My point of impact, my point of aim lather, was the heart here. But again. Uh, this is difficult stuff. I'm sitting in a tree stand or a simulated tree stand. I'm at a higher elevation, so I'm firing down, and I'm firing askew. My target is not directly facing me. It's at an angle. So adding all of those together, it makes for a difficult shot. And uh, that's why you have to practice before you go out into the field. Otherwise, you've got arrows going all over the place or hitting in areas over here, the belly, which is terrible, or hitting in the neck where there's nothing but flesh and the animal won't die, it'll just walk off and suffer. And uh, so that's that. Hope you enjoy.